Well, Donald Trump got a stunning show of support from a woman whose life he helped to save. And I was watching and I heard the story of an incredible, unbelievable young woman who was battling rare bone cancer. They made a mistake. A doctor or a hospital made a mistake. She called it a, it was a medical error. Her name is Natalie Harp and she lit up the television screen like very few people I've ever seen do it. And she talked about how they were preparing her for death. And because of Right to Try, she's now living and I think doing phenomenally well. And somebody said she's here. Are you here, Natalie? Is it? Where's Natalie? Will you come up here, please? Come up, Natalie. Mr. President, you know, we all know the story about the Good Samaritan, but what you don't know is I was that forgotten person on the side of the road, the victim of medical error, the number three cause of death under the previous administration, and left to die of cancer. First, the medical establishment, they came by and they saw me there, so they wrote prescriptions for opioids and they walked on. Next, the political establishment, they saw me there. And they stopped just long enough to come over and tell me how to die, how to speed up my death so I could somehow die with dignity. But then an outsider, my good Samaritan, President Donald J. Trump, he saw me there and he didn't walk by. He stopped. And for every single one of us, he gave up his own quality of life so we could live and work and fight with dignity because he believes in survival of the fighters, not the fittest. And so, Mr. President, I have to say you have made a lot of promises to us and you have kept every one of them. So now we're going to make you this promise. Just as you fought for us, forgotten America will never forget how you saw us on the side of the road and you walked over and you picked us up and you made us great again. And now we're going to fight for you, Mr. President. God bless you. And so when I look at this clip, it really does, you know, there's a lot of people that have a lot of things to say about Donald Trump this year, definitely going into an election year. And when I see something like this, what I always think back to is the connection that Trump has with his supporters, which is unlike anything that I personally seen, um, in American politics since I really started following this stuff. Like I, I, I've said this before, the only comp to this is Obama, basically. Uh, because there are still people that to this day, particularly African Americans, um, that feel this very, very close and very kinship uh, connection with Obama. And that's something that um, I see certain types of people that have a very, very, very strong and very close connection to Donald Trump, uh, particularly like this this woman says, the people who feel like they have been forgotten by the elites and by a lot of the leadership in this country. Now, it remains to be seen um, as to you know whether or not uh, he can, number one, get elected again, uh, and number two, do what needs to be done for the the forgotten people that really do feel this kind of kinship, you know, with former President Trump. Uh, I, I think that there's a lot of eyes on him. I think that there will be a lot of pressure for him to deliver should he return to the White House. And I think that we're just going to have to wait and see what happens.